My name is Socorro Woodbury and I was born in El Corpus Choluteca in Honduras, Central America on January 22, 1946. I came to the United States in 1970 because I married someone from Minnesota who was a missionary in Costa Rica where we met. Uh, I came not knowing the language, but I taught the, uh, English to myself using um, a dictionary and two programs on TV, Password and Sesame Street. After I thought that I knew the language well enough, I went out and looked for a job and I told my husband I want to do this for myself so I know if I can communicate and understand what others are saying to me. And I got the job on the first day that I went there. After that, I decided that I probably was ready to go back to school and I went to the University of Minnesota where I got a bachelor's degree in um, teaching Spanish K through 12. I came to Dort 10 years ago and uh, started teaching, I think it was in 2002, and um, I've been here since then. At the beginning of her time here, I was still teaching Spanish and worked with her in teaching the Spanish courses here at Dort, and that was a great experience for me. You know, her enthusiasm for teaching, her joy in working with students, her commitment to excellence in teaching, her hard work for the department was inspirational to me and um, just an encouragement to me as well. I think that um, the years that Socorro has been here have seen um, increased rigor in the Department of Language Studies and she really worked very hard to discover new ways all the time to bring um, better um, materials, uh, better methods of teaching, um, better outside of the college opportunities for the students to interact and to grow to appreciate and love the language and culture, grow in proficiency. She is always seeing how she can make things better. My first year, I actually taught uh, Spanish, French, and uh, Gen 100 one section. And my second year then I started teaching um, more Spanish than anything else in, in uh, French again. In third year just Spanish. But also I've been, uh, currently I am the chair of the department. I enjoy teaching all my classes. Really, um, there's no favorite if I'm teaching Spanish 101, which is the very first course, for me it's a joy to see how they develop with that. And um, when I teach the upper level, which are uh, maybe Hispanic literature, is, is, is a highlight for me to see how students have developed in the usage of the language, that they are able to read uh, literature in the language and discuss it. And so that, uh, uh, all the courses that I teach, I see the progress of the students from 101 to 304 and um, where they get their degree because I'm the only one who teaches the language. So I see that progress. So for me, that is a, a highlight. She's tru truly proved to be qualified and experienced and dedicated and innovative um, in her teaching of Spanish. And as for administrative experience, she's put that to work as well. She's been chair of the department for a number of years. She's been innovative in setting up new off-campus programs and is not afraid to engage um, new um, opportunities that require some planning and strategizing. So you've challenged our students, you've been an encouragement to them, and you've helped engage them not only in their studies, but with the Spanish and Hispanic and Latin American culture. And you've been a real asset both to us and to our students. Well, we all grow as uh, uh, years go by. And these 10 years at uh, Dort had, um, especially because I was teaching all the courses, have, uh, have uh, helped me to really develop very close relationships with my students and with uh, 
uh, several faculty members and staff members. And um, I also love the community uh, in Sioux Center. And this is uh, the first time that I actually worked at a college in a small town. And I, I really have enjoyed these 10 years. And so on behalf of your colleagues, on behalf of the students whom you have served, on behalf of the Christian community who has been blessed by your presence and also by the presence and impact of the graduates whom you have shaped. Sakura Woodbury, we want to say thank you for opening our eyes and opening the eyes of our students to see things from the perspective of those who were outside our culture, outside our faith, and outside the lives of privilege that most of us have shared.